And welcoming you onto the field here at Reeser Stadium following the Washington State victory over Oregon State. Washington again sneaking away with a close victory over the Beavers. My name is Brendan Slaughter, joined by Brian Rathbone and Keenan Puncoacher. This is the OMN post game show. Keenan, let's get some of your initial thoughts on the game um, as a whole, also towards the end, and including some you know plays at the end that could have won it for, or could give Oregon State a better chance to win. Yeah, I think one of the most underrated things that's going to probably come out tomorrow and it'll probably be forgotten is just the passing performance by Marcus McMarion. You know, this was a this was a quarterback who was getting a second straight start. Doesn't have a ton of experience on that on that offense for the Beavers. He was thrusted into a position with both backups quarterbacks getting hurt. 303 yards in the air, no interceptions. He did exactly what he needed to do today. So did Ryan Nall. That three touchdown performance got him right back into how he felt before against Cal. You know, it was close, but ultimately Washington State just proved to be too much, and they overpowered the Beavers and, you know, an Oregon State team that isn't really used to playing with a lead. Yeah, you know, uh, Washington State proving to be too much. They uh, went on an absolute tear on offense following halftime. Brian, let's talk about you. You were at Gary Anderson's press conference. Let's see kind of what Coach Anderson and the players were saying right after the game. What was kind of the mood of that uh, kind of locker room? Well, the, press con the mood in the press conference was not great. I think it, Gary was very you know, kind of upset with the second half performance, hinted a little bit that he was upset at the officiate, officiating, especially on that, you know, fourth down by Ryan Nall that they thought they got him. Um, but I think a, a, one of the things that kept, you know, coming up was the little things that they weren't doing ended up being like really big things like that, t that touchdown to Gabe Marks, uh, the Hail Mary could have easily been picked. It wasn't. And when it really came down to it is Washington State made the plays and Oregon State did not. Well, the thing is, is one of my first impressions of this game was, yes, Washington State got away with a victory, but nevertheless, it sh it proves to me with Washington State coming in undefeated in Pac-12 play, Oregon State is really not that far away. You know, they're, they're getting better week by week. Unlike last year, where kind of the wheels fell off midway through the season, that's not the case this year. The Beavers are competitive, and arguably, in the weeks following, now on the rest of the schedule, there isn't a game that's not um, that's necessarily unwinnable. They go to Stanford next week, who's been up and down this season. They come back and play UC or play UCLA on the road as well, who's also struggled this season, come back to Arizona, who lost to Stanford tonight and has not won a game in conference, and then play Oregon, who has been up and down but only has one win in conference too. So, I mean, I think it's safe to say for Oregon State the schedule is not daunting or any means, and Oregon State could still kind of turn this thing around. Now, looking ahead to next week against Stanford the rest of the season, kind of how do you expect this team to kind of move? Is this going to be a depressing loss for the Beavers, Brian, or do you think things will kind of pay, this will still inspire them a little bit? It's tough to say. This was a, I feel like a gut-wrenching loss. They were up 21-0, and they had a chance to really step on the Cougars' throw, especially that early, uh, they stopped the fake punt on uh, early in the second half, had, were at the red zone and couldn't come away with any points. So it's going to be tough to see, but, I mean, Gary said this this team's going to fight for every, until the last snap of the season, so... He's optimistic of the team, but we'll we'll have to wait and see. Keenan, kind of same thing to you. Do you think that Oregon State is kind of, you know, with it, I mean, it, they've grown a lot since last year, obviously. But do you think they continue to build and continue to grow? And is it do you kind of buy into that that they're not really that far away in terms of being able to put together those complete wins and start winning games in the pack? I do, and you know, I think this shows that just the growth from yeah. year to year. I mean, the team has come so far. Arguably, they played Boise State pretty competitively too, and Boise State could be in the top ten tomorrow. So. It's just it's they're 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 working on it. They're not there yet, but looking forward to the season. I think I agree with you. It's a it's a pretty winnable schedule. Obviously, losing Bright Aguebu to the targeting penalty hurts because he will miss the first half of the game. He's a big playmaker for defense. But you know, I go back to how big would that Owens field goal on that opening drive have been if the Beavers capitalized it? You know, that would have been three extra points on that scoreboard. Could have made a difference. But I do agree. I think the Beavers have a winnable schedule now. I certainly think the Stanford game next week is a winnable game, and I'll be interested to see what the spread is when it's first revealed. Yeah, I think. Oregon State definitely did a great job of being able to, uh, you know, beat the spread. I thought they played a really good game overall, and it shows, you know, any team that, you know, Oregon State plays, they're not out of it by any means. Oregon State will be on the farm next week playing Stanford, led by Christian McCaffrey. They did get a win against Arizona tonight. Uh, Arizona still remains winless in conference. We'll see what Oregon State can handle on the farm next week, and make sure to continue to check out OrangeMediaNetwork.com for more up-to-date stuff on Oregon State sports. Thank you for watching.